Mike Epps. Mike Epps. Ebro. Mike Epps. Ebro. Mike Epps has entered the building to take over the program for the next 20 minutes. <laughs> Ebola. I mean, Ebola. Ebola. I said Ebola. It's fine. It's fine. Listen, where you at this weekend, man? We got to sell some tickets. NJ Pack Center. Make sure you get out there, Jersey. Put your Timberlands on your fur coats, man, because you don't want to try me. Try me. <laughs> you also in Westbury, Long Island, too, man. Yeah, I'm in Westbury, Long Island. If you ain't got no car, you Why know Why are you holding saying? the microphone like a rapper, man? Like a man. rapper, right? Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because this is Hot 97. You know what I mean? I feel rapish when I get up in here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, so look, Mike Epps is here, man. We're going to talk Richard Pryor. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk Bill Cosby. Yep. We're going to talk... Uh, what's the show that he's doing on Survivor's Star? Remorse. Remorse. Yeah, Survivor's Remorse. But you forgot yourself. Yeah, I did. I did. And Ebro, something he stole from us. <laughs> we got beef. That's racist. Mm. Wow. AOL, AOL's going to give Mike Epps a new program called... <laughs> That's racist. Mm -hmm. They stole from us. We're going to mm -hmm. talk about it next. Okay. Look at his face. Look at his face. Oh, look, look at his face. <laughs> I have no idea what they're talking about on this song. You don't want no trouble, trouble. Or you can't get these fish. It sounds like he's teasing some other kids. <laughs> 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 Mike Epps about to bust a freestyle. You want some of my, my popsicle? And you think you want to get some? Nah, 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 in the morning, Mike Epps, Lord Styles. 943 is the time. Now, Mike Epps is performing tonight is which show? Long Island or NJ Pack? I'm going to be at the MJ Pack. NJ, New Jersey. Yeah. New Jersey performer. Don't say MJ. Yeah, it's Michael NJ. Jackson, Pack Center. <laughs> it's NJ. You better... You know, you better leave early. Yeah, like a couple hours early. For real, huh? Protest the protesters, tonight? they on shut down again tonight. What time does that start? Last night, it started around 5 o'clock, it mm -hmm. felt like, right in rush hour. Wow. They shut down the bridges, the tunnels. It's and I mean, it was it was police everywhere. So if you're trying to move around, and this is for the people listening, too, you're trying to move around, make sure you plan, because I have a... DD Digital, you was on the Brooklyn Bridge last night. Yes, I was on the Brooklyn Bridge. They shut down the Lincoln. They shut down Holland. Wow. So I suggest like you leave now, like after <laughs> this interview. Just going over just to go over <laughs> New Jersey. Take your clothes over to New Jersey and just sit Get in the dressing there. room. Right, just get ready chill for out. your show. I ain't doing all that, eh, bro. He talking about sit in the dressing room. <laughs> Even went too far, bro. <laughs> Yo, how you feel about all this though, man? Talk to us. I know, I know. Uh, Charles Barkley's made some comments that upset you. Man, it's it's it's, it's amazing, man. Charles Barkley, I I can't believe that a guy that's up. At that stature, this is is saying stuff like that, man, and not and, and going against the grain and not going with the program, man. As much as we've been through, you know what I'm saying. I think they might have slid him a check or something. He's and, always been a conservative, though. He has. He's always we've always seen Charles Barkley as a bit of an Uncle Tom. Let's keep it 100. He is, man. He ain't right. You and know? it's not, and you know he's entitled to his opinion. He is. And, and and it opens the dialogue. Nobody has a problem with that. But I think what's going to end up happening to Charles Barkley is. He's going to end up having a, a grandson or a grandchild or something like that. And unfortunately, they're going to be a victim, and it's going to come right back in his face. That's how a guy works. Now, where, where exactly are you from, Mike? Indiana. I'm from Indiana. Not too many people have uh, uh, know where that place is, but that's where I'm from. Michael Jackson, Babyface, Vivica Fox. Couple people out of Indiana. But um, what's going on in Ferguson? What happened here in Staten Island with the Eric Garner case? You say you it's were surprised sad, to see how many black people in the last couple years that have been killed at the hands I of I couldn't police. believe it, man. I opened up a magazine, and it was about 12 black children that's been killed by police, all ages, from from three all the way up to, you know, all the way up to Eric Garner's age, man. And it's sad, man. And it, it's been going on for a long time. They're just bringing the light to it now. You see what I'm saying? And see, when one of them police died, man, they cried and they put it on the news all a hundred times and ride up and have parades and all of that. You know, I just think it's sad, man. How do you feel about all the protests that are going on? It's going down. And if you ever seen Planet of the Apes 1 and 2, it's really going down. Uh, Wait, did you just compare there. the protesters to oh, Planet was, of the Apes? Was... Well, I'm saying the whole ideology of, yeah. <laughs> Wait, nah, you... Caesar and Cobalt is in New York right now. <laughs> and they taking back nah. the city. Nah, man. All nah. right, we derailed. Nah, nah. So, uh, Richard Pryor. 
it's a big big role for you. This is a big mm-hmm. weight for you to carry, not only as a comedian yourself, yeah, but um, you know, it's, it's really a film that's been in the works for a long time. Is this going to end up uh, one of those movies that's one of those Hollywood specials that kind of doesn't really tell the, the real story like that James Brown movie that came out? It was a good movie. It was all right, but it, it was, didn't really give you the real fabric. Right, it was whitewashed. This movie right here, Richard Pryor, directed by Lee Daniels, um, Oprah Winfrey is producing it. She's playing the grandmother. And uh, this is a real movie, man. This is about the real king of comedy, Richard Pryor, man. A real legend. You know, that um, really, really, if you when you talk about hip-hop, Richard Pryor is the beginning of hip-hop. That's who started hip-hop, Richard Pryor. Tell us why you say that. Because Richard Pryor was saying the stuff that's happening right now. He was saying it in the 70s. Talking about the police are really degrade you, man. For real. They really embarrass you. Go listen to his albums right now. He's talking about the police uh, are putting a chokehold on brothers yeah. in his album. And, and that Negro's crazy. Go check that album out. He's talking about uh, 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 racism. He's talking about police brutality. In the 70s, he was talking about that. He was saying the stuff that we getting in trouble for saying now. He was saying it in the 70s. A real radical, a revolutionary, you know what I'm saying? A real brother. So you got to wear the big mustache like he had on. You got the big uh, uh, caterpillar mustache looking like one of the Commodores. (laughs) Hey, Mike, when we interviewed Nick Cannon, he came with the full... He was ready. But he was ready to go as if he got the part. How do you feel about him making his own version for NBC? That's cool. I mean, whatever, you know. No hard feelings? No, I ain't, you know, it's all it's all work. And we all brothers trying to work out here, you know. I think I think he's he's doing a disservice to himself and Richard Pryor by trying to play Richard Pryor on NBC. I don't know what he's going to say on NBC. Because mm. every other word that came out of Richard Pryor was... Uh, MF this. Yeah, yeah. F that. F that. I don't know how he's going to do that on NBC. So. so you feel like that may whitewash it. That may not actually hit the home run. I don't know, man. You know? And and one thing about one thing about playing somebody like Richard Pryor, you have, you have had to walk the walk to be able to play this role. You can't just say... You can't just... Jump up off of one of them. What, what show was that? He was on The Voice or what? What's America's Got Talent? Yeah. yeah. So you feel like Nick Cannon's fabric doesn't speak to what Richard Pryor's fabric is? It really don't. Because if mm. it did, you know, people would would understand him and know that. And I got love for for Nick Cannon, but right. I don't think this role right here was is built for him. You know, that's just like if I wanted to go do America's Got Talent. They wouldn't let me. They'd be like, man, please. Put your blunt down and get out of here. Yeah, man. <laughs> Wake up. Ebro in the morning. Laura Styles, Rosenberg. Mike Epps is sitting in. Yeah. yeah. He's in Westbury, Long Island. Tomorrow, NJ Pack tonight. And he's planning on leaving Manhattan early because he knows these protests is about to shut it down. They're going to mess up your money, man. Oh, man. I'm. A, I, well, you know what, man? That's for a good cause, man. Stop the violence. Stop police, cops. Please. Please stop trying to kill us out there, man. You know what I'm saying? And I think a lot of them cops, man, they need to do a... a, a I know they do a psychiatric evaluation on the cops, but they need to do a deep evaluation on the cops' childhoods. Because most of some of them cops, man, they was punks in high school. And, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then they get a badge and a gun, one act up. Yeah. Now but they there are back some... To there are, I, have, I know a lot of great cops that ain't on that, though. I, I agree. There's a lot of great cops. Yeah. And one of the issues I'm having recently is when one of these cops get out of line or screw up, yeah. other police officers don't want to hold them accountable. Uh-huh. They want to act like, oh, no, 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 he didn't. No, he messed up. Somebody died, Well, man. they're scared, bro. They're yeah. scared. But still, you, scared you got... Scared of what? I think they're scared of going against one of their own. You know that whole bleeding blue? Yo, when somebody in your family yeah. is acting up, it's like Mike Epps. Mike no, Epps' I, I family. When Mike Epps is acting up. Yeah. We got to pull this card. I agree with you. I used to smoke all that weed. I used to call him and be like, yo, Mike, you got to chill. If you want this Richard Pryor thing, you got to chill out. (laughs) There you go, right there. (laughs) Why you got to throw me in there with the dope? (laughs) Throw him in there with the dope and all that. (laughs) Yo, Ibra, can we talk about what he stole from us, please? Yeah, run the intro to... We do this thing on this program. Run the intro. So familiar. (laughs) (laughs) Looking like that. Who did? I, I don't know. That. I gotta go. That's <laughs> racist. And so then people will call up 800 223 and share stories of racism. 
And now you have a show coming on AOL. Yeah. It's, What's it called? It's called That's Racist. Oh. That's Racist. That's Racist. Are you using our drop, too? But you know what happened? I'm, I'm <laughs> going to explain <laughs> to you. This is what happened. AOL brought the show to me and said, this is a show called That's Racist. And I said, that's oh, that's racist. <laughs> and it sounds pretty good. Get your lawyer on the phone, man. I don't have to <laughs> I didn't do nothing. No, but the show is about um, racial stereotypes. That's, that's, right. what, that's, that's what we did. People did. would call in all the time. What, what else, Mike? What else? And, and hey, hey, that's you stole. It. Just say, look, it stole from y'all. Y'all didn't copy right in his mind. Man. Hey, what guess what, bro? I didn't take nothing. Somebody <laughs> gave it. I didn't even know y'all was doing. It. I never heard that on that, the show. That's racist. You know what, Ebro? That's it. That is the last time you're gonna punch that button. <laughs> I did not take y'all's idea. AOL gave it to me. Go check it out online, y'all. It's on AOL. That's right. <laughs> I did not take that idea. But it's it's a pretty good show, man. And 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 what I'm doing is I'm going around to each race, and I'm asking them why is what's the problem with the racism with the, the stereotypical jokes? Like why do y'all think all black people eat chicken? Why do y'all think you know all Jewish people are tight? Why do you think all Asian people can't drive? That's racist. It is racist. <laughs> and and this is a little ra this is a little racism going on right now in Hot 97 against me about this show. <laughs> there is a show you're having a lot of success on that you did not steal. It's yes. on Stars. Yes. What's this called? Survivor's Remorse. Survivor's Remorse. What's this about? I haven't watched it. Now, Jen from Brooklyn, she does sports. She does our blogs and digital. You've been watching this show. Yeah. yeah, she really likes it. She's the one who actually put me onto it. She told me it's based on LeBron's career. Early. Early career, right? Yeah, LeBron James' life. And Survivor's Remorse is a, basically about, you know, being a survivor, you know, and being remorseful at the same time. Like, a lot of us made a lot of money in the hood, and we got we get a chance to get out NBA players, rappers, singers, or whatever. And then um, people in the hood make you feel bad about your success. making it. Yeah, about, about your success. And, and they put the squeeze on you about for money. and mm. You know what I'm saying? You, know, you don't come around here no more. You change. You don't F with the hood no more. Yeah. I ain't seen you in a long time. Come on, man. I say, I say yes to my friends a hundred times. And then the hundred and first time I say no, they forget about the other hundred times. Yeah, then it becomes a problem. So you know how that go, you know. And then you find yourself giving your little hood buddies money because you're thinking in your head, you know, one day I'm going to have a beef. I'm going to have to come and get y'all, get them pistols and this and that. And guess what? 20 years go by, there's never a beef. <laughs> Just been panning. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Mike Epps, check him out. NJ Pack, uh, Westbury, Long Island tonight. To uh, and all this weekend, cop those tickets. Richard Pryor, when's that movie come out? Richard Pryor, that movie comes out in uh, well, we start shooting it in March. Make okay. sure I go check it out, man. This is this is gonna be a big movie. It's gonna be like Ray. This is gonna be like it's really really crazy. Man. I mean, you do. I mean, a lot Tap of the roles it. that you've covered, you've tapped into that uh, alcoholism, uh, alcoholism in some of your roles. Yeah. You know what I mean? Drug abuse in some of your roles. Oh yeah. Violence and all that, and kind of those uh, those attributes and that that ability that you have plays in this Richard Pryor character. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And that's the thing, man. To play a role like this, Richard Pryor, man, you, you know, thank. I, I really, really appreciate and thank my mother for letting me go through some of the things that I went through. You know, for a long time, I was so upset with her because I'm like, Mama, why'd you raise me up in this bad environment? Mama, I love you. P.O.P. All the time. And now it's paying off. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, Mama, I'm glad I was on free lunch. I'm glad I've been to the Department of Correction. I'm glad that, uh, you know what I'm saying? I know what social workers are. And uh, Ricky Smiley is standing there in the door looking Ricky at me. Ricky Smiley, come in, man. Like he's in Rikers Island. I ain't going to put your business out here. We live right now. Don't get crazy, Ricky, Ricky Smiley. Ricky Smiley, say something to him. This is Ricky Smiley here. Hey, what Mike have said about me? I know he talking about no, my no, 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 We ain't talking bad like about you. We didn't tell anybody why you was in town right now. We didn't go into none yeah, of that. Yeah, we didn't blow you up. You're doing your radio show for me. Right, right. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. Doing it town, Ricky Smiley. Just up here networking and uh, taking the, having a business meeting and uh, dinner with Marvette Brito. You're a liar. Oh, yeah. Trying to make it happen. Business You're a liar. That's what you call it? <laughs> y'all so messy, man. I can't yeah, stand y'all. All right, get out. Get out, man. Get out. Mike Epps, man. Check him out. NJ Pack, man, in uh, Westbury, Long Island. I appreciate Cop your tickets. you, bro. Richard Pryor, man. Do your thing, brother. And thank you for keeping man. your word. Last time we spoke to you was about the whole Kevin Hart thing. Y'all ironed out, y'all. 
issues. Oh man, you know it, it, that's it, your brother. Man. That's my brother, man. You know, with all this, all this stuff going on with these cops killing these people, man. I love all black people. I love all people. Period, man. And let's try to come together and have a good time, man. And for all the protesters out there, I got love for y'all for standing up. That's right, stand up for that brother, man. Cause this is crazy. And y'all cops out there that feel like y'all just gotta pull that pistol, man. Hit a man with a stun gun or something first, man. Come on, man. <laughs>